Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mini. Uh, this video is pretty different compared to my normal content, but it's something that was brought to my attention recently that I just really wanted to talk about. Uh, don't mind the boring gameplay, I just needed to record this video on a whim, and this was the first thing that was usable footage, at least. Regardless, as I'm sure the thumbnail of this video gave away, I wanted to talk about the controversy surrounding Polly from Honeybop 2 and my thoughts and feelings towards it. For those watching who don't know, Honey Pop is a video game that came out on January 19th, 2015. It is a bejeweled style puzzle game where the reward to completing levels effectively is lewd images of anime babes. You can build relationships, date, and do the do with a roster of original characters, including the carefree student Audrey, the adult film star Jessie, and a few more characters including a literal alien and the goddess of love herself. It's a pretty harmless, albeit risque, video game that gained a decent bit of popularity thanks in part to YouTube playthroughs from the likes of Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Honey Pop 2 Double Date is a direct sequel released on February 8th, 2021, which takes place a few years after the events of the original. The gameplay formula is virtually the same, with the inclusion of a few new gameplay elements, the forefront of which being the ability to go on a double date, as the title implies. The gameplay is samey enough to still feel like Honey Pop, and the art style and comedy remains, equaling out to a pretty solid sequel by all means. Now that we're all cut up, what I want to talk about is, again, the character Polly. Polly is one of the many girls you can interact with in Honey Pop 2, and what is unique about her is that she was canonically a pre-op transgender woman pre-release. First introduced in the August 2018 Honey Direct video, there was a lot of backlash from the Honey Pop community regarding her gender. People didn't sit right with the idea of having sex with a pre-op transgender woman, and this led the developer to choosing potentially the worst possible option regarding Polly and her gender. Instead of keeping her in-game as a pre-op transgender woman, or just straight up removing her from the game, the developer makes an option before you start a save file to either make Polly a pre-op transgender woman, or a cis-gender woman. There is a slider disgustingly labeled Polly's Junk with the two options any and Audi. My issue with this whole situation is the developer's lack of care and respect regarding not only Polly, but the entirety of the transgender community as a whole. I understand, given this game's audience, that adding a transgender character put him between a rock and a hard place, either keep her in the game as is and risk sales, or remove her from the game and lose respect from your consumers and major communities on the internet. Frankly, if it were up to me, I would just leave her in the game as is, but it's not my game and I can't make that call. Regardless, I feel as though there was a much better approach to going about this whole situation. Instead of making a slider change Polly's gender from transgender to cis, maybe make it determine whether she is pre-op or post-op? Making a slider change her from being trans to cis and making a huge deal about her genitals just doesn't sit right with me, and it feels like a huge invalidating middle finger to the transgender community. It feels like the developer is saying that gender is determined on what's in your pants, which it isn't. Again, to an extent, I understand where the developer is coming from. The Honey Pop community isn't necessarily the most progressive group of folks, considering a poll from 2018 which determined whether or not you'd have a sexual encounter with Polly at all during the game was damn near split 50-50 once they found out she was transgender. So, the topic of having a pre-op trans character is pretty much like walking on eggshells. I just feel that the situation was handled very poorly, and it really sucks that people either don't know about it, don't acknowledge it, or just straight up don't care. Transgender women are just women, regardless of if they're pre- or post-operation, and they should be normalized in modern media, especially the adult media industry outside of fetishization. I think that the developer should address the situation properly again so that more people are in the know and make the in-game slider determine Polly's operation status and not her gender. Until something is done about this downright disrespectful transgression against the transgender community, I cannot and will not openly or financially support Honey Pop 2 and its developer. And I know in the long run that won't make much of a difference, but I hope more people will be willing to speak out about this casual discrimination and make some kind of change. Polly deserves so much better than what she got, and the transgender community, especially the transgender honeypot player base, deserves some damn justice.
Again, I know this video is kind of out of left field considering my normal content, but this topic has been on my mind a lot here lately for the last week or so, and it has genuinely made me lose sleep. I am so fucking sick and tired of the transgender community being walked all over and casually discriminated against while no one does anything or gives a shit. Anyways, I'll go ahead and let y'all go. I'm sorry if this video didn't really get your goat. I've just really wanted to get it off my chest, so this quick little rant video was just the trick. Don't worry, I have a much higher effort video coming out next week, which is more in line with my normal content. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll catch y'all later.